Hello guys, this is Spicy, and this is a review on the premium Bandai High Grade Gundam The Origins Zaku Cannon. Zaku Cannon test type, actually. So, uh, yeah, like I said before, when I reviewed the uh, Zaku Cannon, uh, Zaku Half Cannon, I was going to review the premium Bandai Zaku Cannon. So now you can see the difference between the two kits. Alright, so let's take a look at the box. 2017 made in Japan. I believe this was released in December 2017. And uh, yeah, the typical monochrome box. Retail price in Japan is 2,000 yen. You can find this kit in North America around 40, actually no, 38 dollars actually. So that's okay. It's not too bad. Here we have the uh, large sticker sheet, as you can expect from the uh, Gundam Origin kit. Uh, they all have uh, a lot of uh, these dry decals. Give the fig uh, model kit more detail. It's pretty good. I, and I'm not using any water slide decal on this kit because, you know, I figure this is sufficient. Alright, so, just like this kit, it has the same articulation. It's just got some slightly different parts. So I will talk about that uh, very soon, but I'm not going to show the articulation on this kit because it's basically, you know, another Zaku Origins kit with the same exact articulation. So, what you get is a lot of leftover parts. So, uh, we got the shoulder armor here. You can build another shoulder armor if you want to. And then uh, we got the leg parts from the uh, Saku half cannon right there. Let's see, we have the front and back leg armor. More like thigh armor. Let's go in there, we have the feet armor right there. Lots of parts for you to reuse on other kit. We also got another Zaku 2 style chest armor piece. It's also got the uh, more chest armor piece right here. This uh, I believe is for the traditional type. And then uh, we have various head options. You can actually kind of build up another Zaku head using the parts like so. Uh, let's see, uh, you just don't have the, uh, I guess, the power cables, so, yeah, kind of make like a Zaku 1 style head or something. Also got another one right here for the commander type, with the commander antenna. Yeah, too bad, just don't have the tube, so you can't really complete the build. Anyway, that goes in there, we got the, uh... Uh, elbow armor parts, which I'm not gonna use. These are also the elbow armor parts. Let's go into the bag. We also got some thruster pieces. I'm not gonna use these. Uh, front skirt armor. I'm not gonna use these. Goes in there. And then we got the uh, uh, shoulder spike pauldron part, which uh, this one actually have a different shoulder pauldron. It looks, uh, it, you can see the difference by looking at that. Also, I have the trigger finger, but it doesn't have any weapons, so no use for it. Alright, so that's a bag of uh, leftover parts. The instruction manual is all monochrome, mostly to show you how to put the kit together. And uh, yeah, so it's pretty simple. Yeah. Alright, so it shows you that it has a. Uh, this MS machine gun include in kits such as HG-1144 uh, Zaku 2 Type-C and Type-C-5 sold separately. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you very much Bandai uh, for a premium Bandai kit where it doesn't even have a Zaku machine gun. But what you get is a two Hawks, which I don't know. We have seen these so many times I don't even care anymore. Yeah, so we have the uh, deployed version and the undeployed version with a pickle that you can attach to the side skirt. I'm not gonna use these. We have the uh, attachment piece right here to the action base since uh, there's no pickle on these uh, Origins kit. Also, you have some head options. So you can either build the uh, two types of Zaku cannon. You can build uh, this version with the antenna like what you see on the box. Or you can build this version here, the rabbit type, which with the uh, two antennas. I aim for the, I opt for the uh, rabbit type because it looks 
more interesting so I'm not going to be using those parts I have two universal gripping hands obviously for the purpose of gripping these uh, big gun <laughs> there's another one on the back and then we have another open hand so yeah obviously he's already grabbing onto the big gun and it's got the cannon so let me show you the difference between the two kits since I'm not gonna show uh, the articulation so obviously we got a different uh, elbow armor right here compared to the uh, standard Zaku 2 uh, the Zaku half cannon you can see the difference right there different uh, elbow armor this one just two piece snapped together and then we got the different uh, shoulder armor this one looks a lot better <laughs> I really like that this is very beefy and uh, I do like this one better than this one this one look kind of cheap <laughs> but yeah that's the difference on the shoulder armor the arms are pretty much the same except for the elbows the chest is obviously completely different this is more like a Zaku 2 style chest piece this one is very unique in fact it's so unique you can actually open this up and uh, that reveals the uh, pilot seat right there that's actually really cool uh, yeah so that, that's uh, one major difference and also the power cable goes into the chest unlike this one this whole chest section is completely different and uh, same with these pieces on the side we have vents on the side kind of like a Gundam so that's actually pretty interesting obviously the head is completely different you can see that uh, yeah and uh, you can also pop the head off you can adjust the mono light from the back so yeah here's a adjusting the mono eye right there right there pretty cool all right obviously the the front uh the thighs are different they uh have these new parts for it which looks pretty cool uh it, it looks more simplistic compared to the uh the ones on the zaku 2 or the half can and also we got the front skirt which uh, uh are different you can see uh, these pieces are different from these and I the crotch piece is actually exactly the same so yeah not much difference there now I did finally realize uh, there's a point in actually getting the half cannon because the Zaku cannon actually doesn't have this Gatling gun so if you want to create like a Gatling gun version of the Zaku can Zaku cannon or Zaku half cannon you had to uh, purchase the half cannon just to get the uh, Gatling gun and you can use the Gatling gun on this kit as well so you can have a Zaku cannon using a Gatling gun if you so wish and I think that's pretty much it would I recommend getting this kit well to be honest this is not even really a Zaku cannon it's called the test type because Bandai went uh, a little bit lazy on this kit instead of developing a whole completely Zaku, whole complete Zaku cannon like the one you sing from the Master Grade this one shares so many parts with the Zaku 2 and the Zaku half cannon that they had to call it the test type so it's pretty much just a Zaku, uh, Zaku 2 with a different torso a head and the shoulder armor and the, uh, I wouldn't even call these new armor well it isn't it's different but it's like a cheap way to get a Zaku cannon uh, uh, corner cutting way to get the Zaku cannon that's what I meant <laughs> so yeah it's a good kit but uh, I, I wouldn't recommend paying the people on that price for it unless you absolutely have to have a Zaku cannon in your collection in 144 scale and uh, other than that that's pretty much it for this review I hope you guys find the information helpful thanks for watching